Customer churn is when an existing customer stops doing business with a company or ends a subscription. Unfortunately, 91% of disgruntled customers do not explain why they are unhappy and simply leave, not giving the company a chance to put things right. According to statistics, it is six or seven times more expensive for companies to attract new customers than to keep existing customers. So customer retention is big business. Artificial intelligence can be used to study historical data and retrieve patterns on what happened to customers before they left, so companies can recognise these patterns and do something about it before it's too late. However, most AI systems present this information in a complex and hard to understand format, so it's difficult to work out what needs changing at a business level. Rulex's Clearbox technology provides straightforward explanations and actionable solutions to prevent churn. So let's see how this all works in a realistic scenario. Here is our energy provider, Energy for the Future. Unfortunately, this company has a pretty high churn rate and market competition is fierce. The predicted revenues for 2020 will be 14.4 million, with a churn rate of about 12%. The company would like to increase its revenues for 2020 to about $6 million. How? By understanding which customers are going to churn and by proposing corrective actions to win back their loyalty. So let's see step by step how we can solve this problem in Rulex. Here is the energy workflow. The first task imports the company's historical data, which includes a high number of customers, with some personal information and energy subscription details. The second task shows the imported data and allows us to make any required changes. Here you can see how energy providers divide the day into three time slots. Two different rates are applied, mono, where the cost remains constant, and buy, which applies time of use rates and energy consumed during the peak F1 time slot cost more, while F2 and F3 energy consumption cost less. The heart of this workflow is the logic learning machine task, which generates rules from the patterns identified in the data. Here we can define the output of the data analysis, which is whether a customer is loyal or not, and also decide which input attributes we want to use to reach this result such as the F1 and F2 price and the average waiting time for call resolution. The rules generated by the LLM task are easy to interpret. For example, Rule 3 states that customers will churn if they use a high percentage of energy during the lower peak F2 time slot, but pay a high rate for this period. Rolex has a powerful task called Find and Replace, where you can define which attributes can be modified to change the output, such as costs by offering discounted rates, and average response time by reorganising the call centres. However, our energy provider can't change some attributes, such as sex, marital status and job, so we need to identify these here. Any attributes not included in this list are used by default, so we don't need to list them all. The workflow then reshapes the results so we can see just the corrective actions. For example, for this client, ID 100149, the LLM suggests applying a discount and lowering the rate for the time slot F2, F3 from 0.065 to 0.052. So let's go back and have a look at the initial data on this customer. As you can see, the customer is charged a flat rate for his energy consumption, but uses a higher percentage of energy during the lower peak F2 time slot. So, reducing the rate for this F2 time slot could certainly prevent the customer from churning. In this branch, all the proposed changes are applied to the dataset. So, let's have a look at the consequent impact on the churn rate. As you can see, the churn rate has gone right down to about 2.8% and the annual revenue has gone up to 16.65 million. That's an improvement of over $2 million, a pretty good result. Now let's imagine that for strategical reasons, Energy for the Future decides not to offer discounts straight away, but instead to analyse alternative improvements, such as a reorganisation of the call centres to ensure that certain call queues improve their response time. In this branch of the workflow, we can see what happens if only those proposed corrective actions that do not involve discounts are offered by filtering the results. The results are still pretty good, with a churn rate of 5.5% and a final result of $16.2 million, which is still well above the initial target of $16 million. To sum up, you can see how easy it is for business experts to evaluate the best corrective actions and make small changes to the workflow, integrating business knowledge and expertise. 
using Rulex, our energy provider could reach their financial goal and maintain the loyalty of their customers too, lowering their churn rate and improving overall business results.